Here we're looking at a tree in the Moraceae family, in the genus Meclura, and in the, spe the specific epithet is palmifera. So the species name is Meclura palmifera. This is Osage hyphen orange. It's not a true orange and doesn't produce a, and a fruit that we would eat, but it does produce a large, sometimes referred to as a hedge apple. It starts out as green and would fall to the ground and squirrels do seem to like them and carry them around and it's, it's really an aggregate of lots of different seeds that are inside of it. Let's take a look at some of its other features. The bark has a brownish orange color with a little bit of grays in it. This is a fairly young tree and so the furrows or ridges are not particularly deep. This will deepen a bit as it gets older. The wood of Osage orange is incredibly hard and decay resistant. It was at one time used for fence posts. I think the bark, especially on the young trees, looks very similar to mulberry, which is in the same family. The buds, leaves, and twigs are arranged alternately as you move up the stem. However, similar to ginkgo, it does produce or create spur shoots that can give rise to multiple leaves coming out of what looks like a single point. But these spur shoots where the bud would originate are alternating as you move up or down the stem. New branches will lack the spur shoots and only have a single leaf at each point of attachment. What's missing on this particular Osage orange are thorns. Osage orange may have actual uh, thorns that come out. Varieties are being developed without thorns and to not produce fruit so they can be used more readily in the landscape. Osage orange has a single simple leaf with an entire margin. It can have a little bit of a fuzz or, or soft velvety feel on the underside. The underside has prominent veins and is lighter in color and the top is a very nice uh, glossy dark green. This structure here is actually what's remaining of the flower. So this tree is already flowered and eventually this would produce the fruit that would hang down. As noted, this is a fairly young tree but it gives some sense of its form and structure. It tends to branch out pretty low to the ground and have a bit of an irregular structure as it goes up. These were often used as living fence rows in pastures and fields.